yeah. yeah. Did you have any experience where you went out for a public show or an event? Very good morning and welcome to Clapping Road. Hi, Anurag. Good morning, uh, Sindhu. How are you? I'm doing well. What about you? Yeah, I'm also doing okay. Okay. Um, you're from Nagpur, right? Uh, no, I'm from Nagpur, Maharashtra. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, I have two learners from Nagpur. Anurag, oh, both are... Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, by the way, this is just uh, a second session uh, with you. I don't oh. know if you remember uh, my mm. first session. I was a bit under the weather. Uh, oh, yeah. that mm, I remember, yes. So and we talked, we talked about spirituality and uh, yes. supernatural powers. Yeah. Correct, yeah, I remember. Actually, there are two, uh, two Anurag from Nagpur, and there are actually a lot of learners from Nagpur. So, yeah, it's easy to remember. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Anurag, so how have you been? I'm fit and oh, fine. I just, what about you? just started and mm. uh, just started. It's been uh, a bit of a lazy day today, actually. I uh went to bed late at night so okay. i didn't really much do anything in the morning yeah i see okay so back you for a while, to... yeah. i think previously you said you work from home right yeah yeah i i do work from home hmm. okay. so that's why uh i don't have a very strict schedule uh hmm. per se yeah so Anurag, what are your plans for weekend? Saturday and Sunday, you must be off, right? Uh, not quite. So I there's nothing special about weekends for me as such because every day is a weekend. I mean, I have a fair amount of time in my hands. So uh, weekends, I I like I have started a YouTube channel, so uh, I like to uh, uh, work on it on the weekends give some time into it editing the videos and all yeah that's nice that's a new what thing that i'm into sorry what channel uh, related to what's the content about uh, it's about english conversations of course i mean the content is readily available you just have to uh, polish mm -hmm. it up and edit it and yeah people learn from your conversations they watch your video i also um uh, inject some vocabulary that I have used during the conversation uh, mm -hmm. to explain the meaning of the words. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm yeah, trying it out. Let's see how it goes. That's nice. So you Are you also aware that Clappingo videos also can be uploaded on your channel? Yeah, yeah. I am doing that only, yeah. The Clappingo videos. Yeah. The conversations that oh, I, I have. So okay. I have like completed almost 100 sessions now, but I have uploaded just two videos <laughs> till now. So I, I really have to uh, up my game and yeah, upload more of the, those. And uh, yeah, because I have seen so many people uh, uploading videos on mm -hmm. YouTube about uh, English conversations on Clappingo. And uh, yeah, it is, it is entertaining as well as it is uh, uh, educating at the same time. So, yeah. Okay, Anurag. I'll also Sorry. subscribe to your channel. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be a subscriber to your channel, okay? All the best for your <laughs> channel. So, let me tell you the channel name. Yeah, uh, yeah. Channel. So, it's it's called Once Upon English with Anurag. Once Upon English with Anurag. Wow, nice. Once Upon a English with Anurag. Yeah, pretty oh. quirky name. Yeah, it's good. And I shall subscribe. And also, yeah, I wish you all the best so that this channel may grow it will prosper. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will try. I will try. I will give my best. Yeah. yeah but one, I wanted to take here. Once upon a English, right? But yeah, I know English. it's it's wrong. It's wrong. You know, it should be an English. I just wanted to, uh, you know, uh, as a metaphor to once upon a time, you know, once upon a time, there was this king. So yeah. on that grounds, I like may 
came up with that name. Okay, I see. Okay, it's just a name. It doesn't matter. So it doesn't name doesn't have to be grammatically correct. It's okay. Right, right. So, so yeah. now, did you get time to go through today's session notes? Uh, no, I did not actually. What is okay. it about? What is it about? It's actually about public shows and events. So did you? Oh. Uh, I just wanted to check. Like, do you want to? discuss on this or do you want to change the topic because we don't normally go for i don't know majority of the people i we haven't could, seen people yeah we could we could we could, we could uh, chat about it no problem okay so or if anything me, else pops up in our mind we could blab yeah, about sure. it sure definitely we can talk about other topics as well but we can also discuss about this for a short while because we, yeah. we would not be able to elaborate on it so yeah. yeah, did you have any experience where you went out for a public show or an event? I I did a, a marathon event once that happened in our city, and mm. uh, I also went to a few uh, musical shows uh, mm. uh, in our city uh, in a in an auditorium. Yeah. And besides that, uh, I really haven't haven't been much out attending these concerts and events yeah because uh, it's a small city i mean it's an mm -hmm. average city in Akpur, so we don't have we don't really have these big concerts and all mm. so yeah okay so you said about the musical concert so who was the musician so he actually he passed away. He was he's a very was a very famous uh, violinist. Okay. And you'd be surprised he was he was also blind. Is it okay? Yeah, and he used to play amazing violin. Really, mm -hmm. really magical. Yeah. Uh, sadly, I am not able to recall his name. Okay. I I I am bad at remembering names. So. But it was it was a great great show, yeah. I see. I can understand because uh, usually people who have lost their sense actually um, is they are blessed with lots of extra uh, true, sense. True. That's yeah, true. I not. mean, there there are the senses get heightened because they, they kind of uh, 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 unintentionally they kind of focus on those senses more. Because the main sense that we have that that's of vision, if mm -hmm. that is taken away, you know we are we have that. Uh, it somehow I, I believe it 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 amplifies your other senses. And and uh, yeah. uh, to play an instrument, because I also mm -hmm. play piano. Mm -hmm. So, and I mostly sight read. I play the piano. And I mostly sight read. So like I, uh, uh, I uh, uh, look to... over the sh uh, sheet music. Mm. Yeah, the 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 pieces that I practice. Uh, so mm. I, uh, my eyes are constantly over the book, over the pages of the sheet music, mm -hmm. and accordingly my fingers play. I see. So I think when it comes to musical instrument, it's mostly you can do it without even seeing. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's your ears that are more important. Okay. Hmm, that's yeah. nice. You like you like to play piano and you've learned it. That's wonderful. That's a very good talent. Yes. I, I wouldn't say I have become a very good piano player, but I I'm just a beginner, so this is a very very amateur level I'm practicing and hope so in ten years I I would be able to play some good virtuoso pieces from i like to play mostly uh, western classical music so hope so if i am dedicated enough and mm -hmm. persistent enough maybe i would be able to play a couple of pieces from chopin yeah yeah and even you could upload that on youtube like you would have a channel just for your collection of music yeah 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 i i have some piano uh, uh, some piano music that I've played onto this channel as well. So, mm -hmm. but it's not that great actually. And um, 
uh, as far as i believe uh, youtube uh, playing piano and putting your videos on youtube uh, i mean you have to be really uh, exceptionally well uh, at uh, mm -hmm. playing so that uh, people really admire your uh, your art and so it's not uh, yeah Anurag, who teaches you to play the piano? Actually, I from my childhood I have been uh, learning to play keyboard. So I I used to go to classes. So I had a a, a basic knowledge about the instrument, and so it's been like three or four years that I have transitioned into uh, uh, into the piano. Uh, mostly, I I was just playing. the songs uh, basically only the melody part but now i am more into the full fledged uh, piano uh, thing so that's how it happened and it's really really a very uh, uh, i would say uh, enchanting and uh, very <laughs> outwardly experience if you listen to uh some of the western classical pieces of piano mm -hmm. i don't know if you have because it's it's not very popular in india but yeah. uh, yeah. the compositions that were made during those old olden days in the 17th 18th 19th century in those were like uh, unbelievable I mean, you you won't be able to hear such uh, such uh, great compositions during these days. I would say. Oh. Yeah. So when you are talking about public shows and events, like your company also would have uh, organized some functions, like the annual ceremony, right? Uh, so, yeah. Mostly, I have been working as a freelance, so I I don't have much uh, uh, corporate experience, if you will. uh but yeah we had when when i was uh, working at an office we had a few functions yeah yeah and celebrations yearly celebrations like that yeah yeah so that's actually amazing isn't it because we get to have a get together with all the colleagues and we yeah i work for hsbc they used to conduct annual function every year uh and there was one day when they used to actually fel felicitate all the employees who had performed and i would be looking to grab my award that day so that's the most exciting part and then yeah. it was like food that's and like when you when you get a pat on your back when you are you are appreciated for your uh, good deeds good work yeah. it's it's a good feeling yes it motivates us because i think whether it's a school college or an organization where we're working every year and they have this annual day celebration and these annual functions they are uh, actually uh, i mean it is necessary because some people may think of cost cutting and they may avoid it but actually the oh. way it it it's, it's actually um, if it's a company or if it's a school or college it, your reputation in right because of the celebration right. people come parents come at watch the program they get to know more about the school so their reputation also will expand so i think it's very essential what do you have to say uh, yeah i mean it's it's uh, uh if someone does a really uh, uh good thing if he really works hard and he uh, brings results and he is great at something you should really appreciate him in in these ways and uh that keeps the motivation going and we also feel uh we also feel good about it hmm. yeah right okay anurag actually we are coming to the end of the session so i thought that this session this topic will be very short for us to discuss but actually we went on discussing a lot more so let let me give you feedback and then we'll see if we have time for the vocabulary okay okay so i can say good uh, confidence there was no problem with pronunciation face is also good um is again the article is a instrument so that's also an instrument
instrument. Right, right, right. Yeah, articles are such things that I mean, these are these are tricky things. Uh, I I know when to use and and uh, and the and when to just not use any article at all. No, that that's the mm. tricky part. I I really don't know. Like when you don't have to use an article at all, can you elaborate on it? Sometimes you just don't use an article. Mm.